Remain resolute in all things, or risk weakness. In the cacophony of rising chaos, Gonswen's son is heard like a clarion call above the fray. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Yet there are those who would still fight, still roar. Gon Swen Zan holds against the tyrant, his own fire unrelenting. With a thundering of hooves, he rides to war. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Yet despite the victory, the chaos only grew. With the corruption at the very heart of the Empire, the loyal generals stormed the Imperial Palace and killed the Ten Eunuchs, the source of China's ills. In the madness, the warlord Dong Zhuo seized the Emperor. With the great warrior Lu Bu at his side, none dared oppose him. In response to Dong Zhuo's brazen display, treason some call it, a coalition of warlords rose up, led by the charismatic Yuran Shao, to save the Han. Faced with united opposition, Dong Zhuo retreated west to his stronghold of Chang'an, raising the old capital Luoyang to the ground as he fled. It is now the year 190 CE, and the coalition has all but collapsed. Warlords on all sides have seen opportunities to build their own fortunes from the chaos. Yellow turban remnants still stalk the lands, seeking the age of the yellow sky, whilst soldiers of fortune feel the change of fate on the wind and strike out on their own. The scales shift, and China hangs in the balance. Luo Yang lies in ruin, my lord. It is the work of the tyrant. Dong Zhuo knows no mercy. He is cruel and barbaric. He flees west with the young emperor. Control of the Han goes with him. He must be hunted down. His devastation of China must be stopped. However, there are other, closer issues to deal with. Liu Yu still poses a threat. If he cannot summon the strength to govern his own lands, then I will seize them and do it myself. The coalition is dying. It lacks unity and leadership. Something must be done. Long have I defended China from enemies without. Now, I must turn my sights to the enemies within. Your cavalry bray, Lord Gon Xuan Zan. It is time to direct their furious charge.
Not your passion. Take them. What madness consumes China? This fire must be stopped, lest we all burn. The people suffer as cities burn. It cannot continue. For years, I have defended China from numerous threats. It seems now I must take up arms to defend her again, once more, for China. I will cut out your heart! Do not waste your breath! You will need it! I will defeat you!
clear mind leads to victory. Justice demands punishment. Free them all. To conquest! Shows potential. to see you this meets our approval ready. Resolve your heart.
Welcome, my lord. Your presence is heartening. 